Wonder Studios, where we are on a mission to teach the entire globe about the significance and influence of media literacy. To bring excitement and pride to today's debate competition, we will be accompanied by renowned speakers who are each representative of different universities. This portion of our show has attracted the curiosity of people who have talked and listened to thousands of words and facts. We are your hosts for today. I am Elisha Michelle Olcato. And I am Loisa Shaina Marie L. Gregorio. Have you heard about the three gates of speech? Well, according to this old proverb, your words should pass through three gates before you speak them out. At the first gate, ask yourself, is it true? At the second gate, ask yourself, is it necessary? And lastly, at the third gate, is it time? Now, I believe that this idea applies not only to everyday discourse, but to debating as well. Upon this juncture, let us welcome the people who are behind the success of our debaters. Let us welcome their very own supportive trainers, Ms. Estelle Morales and Ms. Lara Pinanday. Good day, Ms. Pinanday. How does it feel to see the individual you once trained is now here on the national TV show to represent your university? Good day, Ms. Loiza. It's a true privilege to be here with her. Ms. Reyes is a person who has her sights set on the goal. She's very determined and hardworking in her drive to learn new things and understand everything there is to know in order to broaden her knowledge. And I am incredibly grateful and proud of her for it. Wow, that is really great. Ms. Reyes surely is a hard-working person. I've heard that she is the first ever freshman student in your university to be the national representative for the International Debate Tournament. Am I correct, Ms. Penanday? Absolutely. Even at a very young age, Ms. Reyes was awarded a gold medal in the nation's speech and debate online tournament. She also represented the Philippines in an international debate tournament twice and was also awarded a gold and silver medal. Currently, she is taking a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science at the De La Salle University and is a consistent Dean's Lister. Wow! For sure, there are many opportunities ahead for Ms. Reyes. Now, let us hear from Ms. Morales. Ms. Morales, as someone who has seen the growth of debater Siniza, what was that one thing she taught you? Well, Ms. Siniza encouraged me to never give up hope. She is the type of person that never loses hope and always sees the bright side of everything. Her path has not been simple, but she has matured, not only as a debater, but also as a person as she continues to fight and advance toward her goals. She always reminds herself that every failure is a step closer to achievement. I am incredibly moved and proud of the person she's become. That's the spirit. What a great mindset she has. Miss Saniza has been the talk of town as she was one of the youngest people who has been invited to become a panel judge from previous debate competitions. Am I right, Miss Morales? You surely are. Saniza is consistent dean's lister in a school student council officer at Far Eastern University. Currently taking a Bachelor of Arts in International Studies, she represented FEU in Italy and won a gold medal in the Best Speaker Award. She was invited to Brooklyn, New York to be one of the panel of judges. What an amazing list of credentials. She is indeed a wonderful debater and I am looking forward to the success of the both of you. We are truly surrounded by amazing and talented people. You are correct, Liza. Now, let us welcome the panel of adjudicators who will help us determine today's winner for our debate competition. We have Mr. J.B. Ide, a professor of English Literature at Oxford University. We are also joined by Ms. Christine Manongas, the champion of the Philippine Schools Debate Championship. We feel very honored to have the both of you. Now, let us move on and start with our debate. The proposition for this day's debate is 
This house believes to take media and information as the best source of information to this day forward. Now, let us finally start our competition. Debaters, are you ready? Ready. Ready. First is affirmative side, Miss Reyes. You have three minutes to present your constructive speech. You may begin at the sound of the beat. Media and information refers to the means of communication, such as broadcasting, publishing, or other sources that give details to every individual that use different branches to facilitate global communication for individuals situated across the world. Opposing counsel and respected educators, good day. As a speaker of the affirmative side, let me disclose the advantages that the media and information could bring to our nation. First, the usage of media is necessary in order to spread information faster. Second, it is beneficial because the message will enlighten a massive amount of people. Third, it is doable, especially that a lot of people rely more on social media nowadays. On my first point, your honors, with the use of media and information, the people will receive the latest news in a short time. Distance does not make a barrier in distributing information to people from any place on earth. It allows every individual to communicate with the help of media and information technologies. Instant messaging, emails, voice, and video calls become quicker and cheaper and much more efficient. Second, media and information literacy teach them to properly identify, locate, and access information. What I meant, if we use the media to spread information, it is beneficial because a lot of people will be able to hear the latest updates because we live in a modern world that is run by technology. Media and information can positively influence our nation because every knowledge and thoughts that we would like to clarify will be gained with cited sources of information. Third, it is practical because our nation has already been doing this practice, especially since a lot of people rely more on social media nowadays. Furthermore, the public is introduced to technological developments that will help them communicate more effectively. To conclude my stand, information has such a vital role in our nation, and spreading it through media will be the most effective way to reach more people. Affirmative side, rest. Thank you. Next is the negative side. Ms. Suiza, you have three minutes to present your constructive speech. You may begin at the sound of the beat. Anyone may now construct a professional-looking website or social media account for a very little cost. Also, misinformation has frequently come from seemingly trustworthy websites, making it difficult to detect incorrect or misleading material using traditional approaches, such as checklists with questions that trigger site review for currency, relevance, accuracy, authority, and purpose. Before I go to my stand, allow me to rebut some points raised by the speaker on the affirmative side. She said that with the usage of media and information will be sent faster. She may have not considered that not all information we see in medias are true, which means with the use of media, we too are more likely to spread confusion and misinformation. Good day to all of you. Let me proceed to why our house believes that media and information is not the best source of information. First, the knowledge and information we created may be false. Second, it is non-beneficial because manipulative information can trigger thinking. Third, it is impractical to call it the best when not everyone in the country has access to the media you speak about. First, the knowledge and information we catered may be false. The internet opens up avenues for imposters, criminals, and hackers or such predators with the possibility to commit criminal acts without any knowledge of the victims. According to a global research by Amy Watson, 51% have seen fake news on televisions and 44% have seen fake news in print media. My point is that with the most people relying to media as a source of information, a higher rate of misleading information victims are most likely to to our lives. Second, manipulative information can trigger thinking. I agree that media is helpful in spreading information. However, it is inappropriate to label it as the best source of information knowing that media is also a place where people are tricked and manipulated. I propose that our nation will be able to solve issues regarding the usage of media to spread unsafe information by strengthening the evaluation of information being disclosed neither it is broadcasted or published. 
Lastly, we have remote areas in our country which means that not everyone has access to media via printed information nor broadcast. Currently, the Philippines has one of the slowest internet, though the Philippine Digital Strategy released a plan that provides an internet for all. It was released in 2010 and the proposal has been over decades and still we haven't managed to do so which makes the motion impractical. To end, I would like to say that before labeling it as the best source of information, we shall first do our best to deliver safe and legitimate information to others by securing reliable sites and disregarding false and manipulative information. That's all for the negativity of the motion. Thank you. Thank you, debaters. I would like to ask the adjudicators to give some comments about the stand of both debaters. Good day everyone, for this debate, both the negative side and the affirmative side did a great job. The speakers of the affirmative side clearly state how the media has affected our life. The negative side also did a good job as they state the negative effects of media and information. They stated that the media does not only bring benefits to us, but they also bring disadvantages and risks such as false information. I agree with that part. We cannot avoid the fact that the media also brings risk, despite the many benefits it has given us. The negative side also provides data to support their claims, which I think is a good idea. This debate is not as easy upon which to comment. For each of the articles in some parts, sidesteps the chief concerns of the others. But so far as I can see, there are both disadvantages and advantages in media and information. Let me state where my sympathies lie in this argument and counter-argument, and then develop my views at greater length. I agree with most of the elements of the affirmative side critic of functionalism, and as she does in suggesting the advantages of media information, I do not think, however, that making media at the center of everything and only give advantages in the community. I do not believe that media would be beneficial to all at all times. And then so much for the worst of media and information, or so I shall aver. Discussing these issues, I shall distinguish one. But still, both sides did a great job. So congratulations. And now we're back. The adjudicators just gave us the result of today's debate and we will announce the winners of this debate competition. Congratulations on the negative side, Ms. Yurka Daily T. Sinizo. And still, congratulations to Ms. K. Reyes for the job well done. Yes, media and information may be flawed for some reasons, but it doesn't undermine its significance and influence in shaping our modern world. Media and information are part of our everyday lives and it connects us to people all over the world. Media and information help us to be educated and elevate our consciousness, guiding us to make informed and wise decisions. It also raises the people's voice, incredibly the weak ones, and displays the masses' perspective, contributing to democracy. In addition, it gives us countless sources of entertainment which have proven to elevate our mood, especially in trying times. As citizens in this digital age, we must contribute to our society's development by being media and information literate. We must also engage in meaningful discussions to express our opinions in creating new ideas for the improvement of our society. Acquiring these necessary skills will equip us for the future and help us unlock the true potential of media and information. That's it for today's debate. Thank you for tuning in on Media Wonder Studios. Always remember, media is the sound of the future. Thank you and have a great day.